Wait until you see this. What do these people have in common? If you said movie directors, you're right. So what exactly does this have to do with the video that you're watching today? Today's a quick video to give you an amazing tip, but not only that, an amazing prompt generator. So you'll have not one, but two amazing things you'll want to start using ASAP. These are going to 10X your simplest, most generic prompts into a cinematic, powerful Hollywood movie director. Want the best prompts you've ever seen? Click the links in the description. We'll first start with a 10 next tip. And then after that, I'm going to share an amazing and helpful prompt generator to take your prompts to a whole new cinematic level. Wee now, for some of you, I understand that this may be considered too basic, but for those who may need a little bit of a boost in crafting the perfect prompt, this is going to be just what you were looking for. Now, it's all about how you converse with ChatGPT. At first, you'll start with a simple question, provide a few simple details, and ultimately, ChatGPT gives you everything you need. So when you see movies like this, you know there must be some serious talent behind it. Movie producers and directors, those are the experts. The Hollywood studios trust them to create magic. And that's exactly how we'll be treating ChatGPT today. ChatGPT is the expert, so let the AI do all the work for us. This will be specific for generating some awesome cinematic create images from the most popular movie directors. Hollywood movie style images. Like me. So for step one, here's what you're going to do. Do a Google search and see who's responsible for directing your favorite movies. The first thing you'll ask ChatGPT is exactly this. What kind of cameras and lenses do movie directors like James Cameron, Martin Scorsese, Greta Gerwig, Christopher Nolan, Luca Guadagnino, and Damien Chazelle use? It's as simple as that. That's the first question that you ask ChatGPT. And I actually presented it in two ways. I have two chats open at the same time. So for the first window, here it is right here, okay? That's the exact one I asked. And then I have a second window. It's going to be the same exact question. This is what is so amazing about this prompt. It gave me the full details of every single director right here. But then here is what the most impressive part is. So for an example, James Cameron, it gives me the cameras from movies like Avatar, he used custom 3D cameras in collaboration with Sony. Then we have the lenses. And then you could see in this chat, it does it for each individual director. It provides me with the camera and the lenses that was used. This is going to be so incredibly helpful because the level and quality of the images you're going to get utilizing these details are going to be out of this world. Okay, so as we scroll down, we go all the way to the end, which then brings us to our second step. Now, the second step is a two-part system. That's because it's dependent upon on what you're going to be using these prompts for. So I have these prompts set up for two purposes for you. I have it for AI images, but also for AI video, because we know the emergence of AI video is starting to take off. So I want to start generating more and more prompts specifically for AI videos. So here is step number two and the questions you're going to ask. Can you please provide an example prompt I can use pertaining to option one for James Cameron? Now you're going to say option one and the director based off the sort of style you're looking for. But then you could also instruct ChatGPT to do it for all six of the directors that you received. Okay, so can you please provide an example prompt I can use pertaining to option one for James Cameron? I will use that prompt to generate an AI video in Runway ML. Please include all of the important details you recommend, like cameras and lenses. Okay, so that's the first one. But now if I come over to my second tab, okay, you can see right here, same question was asked, but I also got a different type of conversation. Look at the comparison. Here's the first one with James Cameron with the avatar camera. But now when I asked it a second time, I got this Arri Alexa 65, but I also got the Sony Venice, which is gonna be so helpful to use. Asking this question more than once may provide you with more details. And as I scroll down, you could see I have three bulleted points as this one, I have two. Okay? Okay, but here's the important part. Now, when I scroll down, I asked step two right here. For this one, we're using AI images. So here's the question for that one. Can you please provide an example prompt I can use pertaining to option number four, Christopher Nolan? I will use that prompt to generate an AI image in mid-journey. Again, please include the important details like cameras and lenses. And then just like that, check this out. Sticking with Christopher Nolan, look what I got right here. Look at this whole entire prompt, beautiful looking prompt with all the fine details details I want, okay? And I love the details. Panavision, anamorphic lenses, captured and stunning IMAX detail, okay? Now let's go back to my other tab over here and see what it did for the James Cameron one. This is gonna be a two paragraph prompt. 
it's gonna give us some amazing looking images, but we're still not done. Now, when you really wanna take things to the next level, let's say for an example, we like this prompt right here that we got for this Christopher Nolan film. The next thing you're gonna say is simply this. Now just provide it with any subject that you want. For an example, let's say I want my subject to be of a beautiful woman. Don't you think I look good? In the dystopian world, okay? Now, here is what we're gonna say. I love this prompt, but rewrite it and this time make it more detailed. So let's try that. So you can see I said exactly just that at the very bottom. Please rewrite this prompt and this time make it more detailed, okay? So here's the first thing we can do. Now, the first paragraph is gonna give us a good looking image, but now when we say make it more detailed, look at it get to work and it's gonna be an even longer prompt. Pretty amazing, okay? So now, one more step. Let's go ahead and then incorporate a actual subject. So here's what we're gonna say at the very bottom. Thank you. Now, please provide the prompt again, but now add the main character, a beautiful woman in a dystopian world. Now check this out. I hit enter and now it's going to give me the same amazing detailed prompt, but now it's going to give me an actual main character to use. That way, this prompt is going to create some fascinating images. And then there we have it. You can see immediately we're going to get the full prompt right here. And now it says in the foreground, a beautiful woman stands confidently gazing over the city. And let's see if it gave us our dystopian sort of world. I can see right here that yes, all of the elements are there, including the keyword dystopian. And the prompt doesn't stop there because again, this will be a two paragraph prompt. Amazing. Okay, now let's move on to perhaps the most impressive part of this video to this amazing prompt generator. It's going to be a back and forth exchange between us and the AI, ChatGPT, to get the ultimate sort of prompt that we're looking for. So now for this prompt generator, you can get it in two places in my mega prompts databases. So right now I'm in AI art prompts. If I go to prompt generators in the prompt generators tab, these are going to be all prompt engineering generators. I'll have it in here. In addition to my new prompts database specifically for prompt generators, basically you'll never need prompts again because it's going to give you prompt after prompt in infinite prompts based off of any subject you like. And then I'll also include this prompt generator in my new free mini prompts database accessible via the link in the description. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, let's go back over to ChatGPT, brand new tab, and let's copy this whole entire prompt in and then just let it do its magic. There it is, and now hit that button. Let the AI guide us, okay? And then you can see it says, great, let's get started. What would you like the prompt to be about? Okay, now this is what makes this prompt so special because it's not just a prompt for AI images. It is a prompt for basically anything that you want. Okay, so since we're on the subject of AI images, let's just say just that, okay? If I wanted the prompt for something else, say like SEO or a catchy heading or a title, I could do that as well. But for this one, let's say this, a cinematic AI image of a beautiful woman lost in a desert in an unknown world. Now, it doesn't have to be that detailed. You can just say something like a supercar. So either way, it's whatever you want to provide it. Go ahead and hit enter. Now watch this. It's gonna go to work and it's gonna give you a revised prompt just like that. And then there we have it a cinematic AI image depicting a beautiful woman, okay? It describes the landscape and everything else that we want as well. Now, if you like this prompt, you can highlight it and then just simply use it. However, if you really wanna level up and go to the next level, let's keep this conversation going to get the most amazing detailed prompt. Okay, so as we scroll down, check this out. Now it says point number two, suggestions. Okay, let's give it some more suggestions. Her appearance, the environment, the lighting, the camera angle. Now notice this, here is what is so important, camera angle and composition. Remember, that's why these two things go hand in hand. If I go back over to my chat over here, I can then use another one of these camera angles that we got from this prompt over here, from James Cameron all the way to Christopher Nolan, okay? And then down below, let's also answer these questions. So just like that, let's just go ahead and answer these, okay? 24 years old, blue eyes, uh, uh, white hair, okay? Okay, so then you could see number two, I just said nighttime, gradient sky with planets and stars. Let's really take this up a notch. And then number three, what kind of mood or atmosphere are you aiming for? Let's just go with mysterious. Now watch this, okay? Here is my original prompt. Not bad, but now it takes my questions and then does a revised prompt. Look at that. The details are even better. Now, the thing I love about this prompt is that you can make this go as long as you want. It will give us the suggestions every time, and then after that, it will continue to ask us more and more questions. This time, clothing, okay? Elements in the desert, and then what type of camera angle do you prefer? Now, I won't bore you with the details because this is addicting and I can go on forever. However, I will tell you this, that it does produce some out of this world style of images. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, we'll see you next time.